Hi, this is Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead. It's been a long time since I've done a video, and I thought I would just talk about that a little bit. It's not going to be a very cheerful video, but it's going to be a real one. And maybe, maybe some of you also, sorry about that, go through this same um, dilemma that I do. So uh, if you've followed me for a while, you know that um, this has been a year filled with loss for me. I have lost several friends, uh, five of them, and I lost my husband almost a year ago now, just a few days. Today's his birthday. And for some reason, I guess because it's the first birthday in 35 years that I haven't got to talk to him, send him a gift, or give him a gift, um, that I've really struggled with that bad for the last couple months. I decided um, in remembrance of him to do um, gifts for the immediate family. So for Stephen and Sierra up in Alaska where Donnie lived with them for seven years, um, I sent them bright lights for in their house because they're about to go into the dark winter months. For my son and his wife and family in North Dakota, I sent them an awning for their porch because they didn't have one and they'll get lots of rain and lots of snow. So hopefully that will make going in and out of the house much nicer and safer. I haven't figured out what to get Jason yet, but I'm thinking it might be something to do with his new truck because Donnie and him really enjoyed working together on vehicles. So I think that would be nice. For myself as a remembrance, I bought a beautiful crepe myrtle. And um, I love those. And each year as I look at it, it will be a memory of sweet things. So what you may not know about me is that I have suffered from severe depression since I was about 11 years old. Um, now that's been a long time, uh, 57 years. So I take medication for it and I have now for 30 years. And to be honest, that is saved my life. I do try as a Christian to look for the good. And I do trust God that he has the best plan for us. And that he loves us and that we never walk through anything alone. But still, still I struggle. Sometimes they're worse than others and this year's just been exceptionally bad. About two weeks ago, um, my dogs went out in the evening, out the front, and they're usually pretty good about staying in the yard because I live right on the highway. But this time, at least Coco, my 10-year-old lab, who's my constant companion followed me everywhere um, would never go in the house if I was outside without I tricked her <laughs> and when I worked in the garden I could only be two garden beds away from her or she had to switch she got in the road and somebody hit her I know that it wasn't on purpose, 
but they killed her. And they left her in the road. I did not hear the impact, even though it was really almost outside my bedroom window. But I'm very thankful for a neighbor the next morning before I got to see her had got her off the road. Um, and if you happen to watch this, please know how much I appreciate that. Jason brought her to the yard for me. And I dug her grave. And it had to be a big hole. She weighed 80, 85 pounds. Because something was wrong with her. I don't know what, but she was feeling hungry all the time and gained a lot of weight. Her mammary glands were very swollen as if she was pregnant. Uh, and I'd been afraid to take her to the vet, afraid I'd hear something bad. So maybe God just allowed her to go quickly without a long suffering. She was um, broke up so bad that um, there's no way that she suffered. It had to have been an instant death. So after I got her grave dug, um, I pulled her into the backyard and Jason helped me lower her into the grave and backfill grave. I was pretty tuckered by that time and I sure appreciated Jason can move a lot of dirt a lot faster than me. So, anyhow, during this time, I had a couple people reach out to me if I would be interested in another dog. One was a two-year-old, but the breed, I think, it was part hound, would really want to get out and chase after the deer, which is what I'm sure there must have been a deer, uh, and Coco went after it. So I didn't want a hound. And then somebody else, family, friends, that um, we're blessed. They consider us like family. Uh, they got a hold of us and they had Shepsky puppies, which are German Shepherd and uh, Siberian Husky. And they came and let us pick one. I wasn't sure that I was ready because... First of all, I want to say, you never replace a pet with another one because they can't. But you can have room to love another one. I have room to love another puppy and raise it into a good dog. So we have a little male. He's very cute. And I'll show him to you on one of the videos. Um... Anyhow, so that's why I haven't been on in a long time. And I just thought I'd let you know in the next video, I will try to make much more uplifting. All right. I want to pray for you and yours in your house. That's my clock. Out of the house in the day and the night. And whatever you do, keep dreaming. All right. Good night. God bless you.